Good morning, Modern Stutters. It's cold out this morning. 12 degrees out there. And I had rain the last couple of days, so I know everything iced up nicely. So today's gonna be a good day to try out my new ice picks I got. They go on really easy. They have a front and a back with a tab on it. Slip my boot in the front. That should be a pull up on the back here. And the back of my boots have a little tab. Bring it in a second. You just stick the rubber on top of the tab, it'll hold it on there. Man, those things look mean. Most boots have this little bump on the back of them. You can get the you can get it to sit on top of that. It's supposed to lock them in place. Everything is solid ice. Figaro. We got another Christmas tree. Dropped off the goats. These things are really loud. Going down to the hill right here. Oh, it works so nice. I'm curious to see how it is going into the goat pen. Yesterday it was an ice skating rink right by the door. The goats didn't seem to have a problem right over here, but I was slipping around. Oh, so nice. Oh, you don't even know you're on ice. how much bedding and food will get stuck in them. Not bad in the goat barn. You want your alfalfa? I wonder if Willow's milk production is going back up at all. Nope. I'll have to check the dates when I get in the house. I think it's gonna be right around two weeks ago that we brought her on her second date with the buck. Hopefully soon we'll know if Willow's pregnant or not. The last couple of weeks has been pretty rough, guys. Our local grocery store hasn't been stocking my brand of coffee anymore. Ugh. I buy bulk coffee beans, and I've been buying this one brand for two years. In the last two or three weeks, they stopped stocking the brand. Do you know how hard that is, having to find another brand of coffee that you like? I'm very disappointed in my grocery store. I'm just thinking of it because we went grocery shopping last night. And I tried another brand of coffee beans. It's okay. But it's not the brand I was drinking. Looks like I got just enough milk out of Willow to use it in my cup of coffee tomorrow morning. The girls ready for your hay? There you go. Blossom, you're on the wrong side this morning. Now let's see what this Christmas tree looks like this morning. <laughs> they did an awesome job taking all the bark off. Look at that. That's too funny.
Figaro just cracks me up. He's out waiting here for us. You ready to go in? Did you see Pluto's pretty bandana that the girls made for her yesterday. Do you like it, Pluto? Looks like your cape. Come on, we gotta go to New York City. Pluto. She's slipping. I think she needs some ice cleats. I'm hoping the fluid film we sprayed on the door yesterday kept it from freezing. Ugh. Nope. Ugh. Bummer. Ugh. These extreme temperature fluctuations are not good. That one worked. <laughs> Morning, guys. I did a review of these gloves on Sunday's video. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link to that video right here. But in the video, I was talking about how the gloves were only $8.85 at the time. And I paid more money for them, and they were. Well, I guess shortly after I posted the video, the price of the gloves went from $8.85 a pair to $18.80. <sighs> if you search on Amazon, there's also the hat and the gloves. And I paid 20 bucks for the hat and the gloves because when I went to go buy just the gloves, they were $8.80. And if for another two bucks, you could get the winter hat. But somebody was left in the comments and said that Amazon does dynamic pricing, which means, I guess, the more supply and demand, the more the prices go up. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Nice. Come on. Pretty icy, huh? We started looking at puppies the other day. We're gonna be getting a new one. I believe in the middle of January we can take them home. But me and Gina were talking, and I mean, I realized it, but I guess I really didn't realize it. Pluto is already eight years old. She acts like a puppy still, so I always forget that's how old she is. Right? You act like a puppy still? A little bit of a fun fact. When we got Pluto, Olivia was two. We let Olivia name Pluto, and that's how Pluto got a name, because Olivia was into Mickey Mouse Clubhouse at the time. Uh, and Pluto is a girl. This is a sage and maple syrup breakfast sausage we made from our pigs we raised here this spring and butchered on the homestead this fall. Breakfast is one of my favorite meals. And actually, I think I like it sometimes better for dinner than I do at breakfast time. Olivia doesn't know what she's missing out on this morning. She didn't want sausage and eggs. You want toast and peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Oh man. I'm gonna put some garlic powder in my egg. You want some onion toast? No. Mm -hmm. You want like garlic powder? Oh no, sorry, onion powder. Would it go good on your peanut butter? Nope. I think it would. You wanna try? No. Just a little bit? Mm -hmm. You know what we forgot about? What? 
I didn't forget about it. I just haven't needed it yet. It's our fire cider. Help you with your cough. So this is a fire cider that we started brewing the 3rd of October. <laughs> it's going to be good and strong. So it's apple cider vinegar, onions, garlic, horseradish, and a whole bunch of other herbs and spices. Ginger, jalapenos. Mmm, that's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna smell like that. Oh my goodness, it's good for you. It smells good. Looks like some good, strong, potent stuff. You can do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You can do shots of it every morning, twice a day. We'll do it as a family. No. So this has been brewing for just shy of 90 days. That'll be a good batch. <laughs> See what the chickens think about it. <laughs> smells good, it smells like ginger. Turmeric, ginger in here, jalapenos. They seem to like it. <laughs> what are you doing, Figaro? You patrolling the homestead? You just want to see my reaction. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. You gonna yeah. do it if I do it? No. You gonna do it? No. All right. Bottoms up. It's not that bad. Yeah, your whole voice just changed. It did, it it's not that strong. You can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the ginger. I think your hair just stood up. <sighs> no, I don't want the timer, I want to preheat. Oh. To what? Can I press the buttons? 375. Click anything? Start. Up here. Oh. I think we're gonna be spoiled having chocolate chip cookies with tonight's <laughs> dinner. Mm, the rest of the week. What's that? It's gonna end the rest of the week. Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's your favorite snack, oh, like dessert. I like, you push it down because it's supposed to be packed. I like brown sugar because it's so weird. You like playing like with it? Sands, but yeah. it's sticky. Like kinetic sand almost. There you go, dump that in. And then a half.
You can never have too many chocolate chips. We probably can, but. Not when Gina's baking. Is this your favorite job? Yes. One. One of them. Mm, um, don't like stuff. And then the goats like it too. What? You're eating the, the dinner stuff? The white one's the best ones. Yeah. You get to test them? Good. I think the goats like it every time we make soups. They get the celery and the carrots. Bring them this, and then the Christmas tree. Oh, Willow, you want some celery? Don't worry girls, there's more than enough to go around. Is that good? You girls are silly. The goats are all excited for the tree. Let's see if I can grab it in the middle and There you go. Be curious to see what that looks like in a day. We got any more eggs? Uh, two more. I'll take it. Must be outside somewhere. Nice. 
see you two, three. Did I scare you girls? The rest of them must be hiding under New York City. I hear them under there. Gina doesn't want to cut up the onion. Oh. Can't say I blame her. What's that? Is it? So satisfying. You just want to scrape it. Somebody commented in the video you were using and said their husband won't eat garlic. So they use their garlic press and he doesn't even know what's in there. <laughs> they trick him. I love seeing Pluto staring over the island. What are you guys cooking? Do you have that kitchen. <laughs> now Figaro's out there keeping an eye on his chickens. Making sure nobody's coming to harm them. Gotta make sure it tastes good before we put noodles in. Oh, you did it. Good job. See? Awesome. Can I mix it in? He was drilled with little toothpicks and um and marshmallows. And marshmallows? Yeah. soup we were making was our turkey soup with leftover turkey from our Christmas dinner. We ended up having friends over for dinner that night and this is where the video ended. <laughs> we got lost track of time, had friends over, had a good visit with them. It was just a good time and hope you all are having or had a great New Year's. I hope you were able to look back and reflect on 2018. Think about what you learned from it where you want to go and I hope you all have a great and prosperous 2019 and I look forward to seeing what the new year has to bring for all of us. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom.